Hi Aquarius, this is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing way better. I'm still not up to perfect, but I'm getting better. So anyway, this is a weekly reading for February 1st through February 7th, 2021. And I am excited that we're in 2021. Yes, it's a new year. Yes, the age of Aquarius has started. Yes, it's Mercury retrograde. Yes, there's a lot of things going on. But there's a lot of good things going on too. For example, this week, you're going to see me a ton of times. On Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live and answering all your pendulum questions and maybe some tarot. Who knows? We'll just play it by ear. And on Wednesday is the relationship reading. Thursday is the financial reading. Friday is a love reading. Love. Saturday, the weekend reading. And of course, back next Monday, we'll be doing the weekly reading. I don't know what I'm doing on Sunday yet. So as for the reading, the first card I get for y'all is judgment. This tells me, Aquarius, that you need to, and you've been doing okay on this, but you really need to stop this week and use your judgment. You've been doing too much with your emotions. And that's not how an Aquarius works real well. Y'all like to use your head and you need to be using your judgment this week. Take time to think through your actions, think through everything. Don't react, act. There is a total difference. One of the ways that we're gonna get there is by meditating and thinking on things. See, back in the day, a night when they would go to war after there'd be small wars, they'd be like 50 people or something. They'd come back and they would rest. He'd lay down and he had a sword under him and swords by him. He's got the stained glass here showing that he's got spirit on his side and he would meditate and think about what he had done better, could have done better, what he did great, etc. Because we all can do things better. And he would just evaluate it. No condemnation, no judgment, just evaluate. And that's what you need to be doing. Another thing you need to be doing is quit crying over, well, not crying over spilt, but quit being spoilt. See, he's got three cups there all full. He's got another one, but it's not what he wants. He's like, huh, I've got four crystals. I don't want crystals anymore. I want a hark of her diamond. Basically the same thing, but. He's just being spoiled. And so are you. You're sitting there and thinking about what you want as opposed to what you have. And what you have is good enough. Now we get the sun reversed for y'all. Turn it over. Do, 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 do. And the sun shows everything coming into, into a good place. But because it's reversed, I think you're fighting against it. I think that you are keeping yourself from achieving what you want. You are preventing it because you're like, nope, not doing it that way. I want it my way. You know, like that Frank Sinatra song. And now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear and take something of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full, and traveled each and every byway. What's more, what's more than this? I did it my way. Yeah, sometimes we can't do it our way. I would like to. That would really make me happy. But sometimes we just can't keep doing it that way. Nope. And if you start doing it the way you should be doing it, you're going to get satisfaction. You have, like, these people are celebrating. They're getting their champagne. They're going, yay, yay, yay. But only if you stop fighting the universe. Only if you stop fighting spirit. Spirit has your back. But you got to quit fighting. And it says you're going to get justice. Things are going to work out the way they're supposed to. You're going to get your just desserts. But you have to quit fighting the universe. Now I'm going to pull a card from the Spell Casting Oracle deck. This one's good luck. 
This one says that you are going to have good luck. But once again, like I've told you, you've got to quit fighting. It's all just waiting to be received, but you got to quit fighting it. I'm also going to pull a card from the Urban Crow Oracle deck. And this one says observation. So you need to stop, instead of fighting things, instead of railing against things, stop and look, observe, see the path that is plotted for you. We all have one. You're just choosing not to follow it. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube page and I'll see you soon.